Hello everyone, Wordfry here. Welcome to a new game. We're gonna play a game called Mace Mysteries, The Secret of Dragonville. Um, I don't know exactly. I think this game has like puzzly elements, a bit of adventure, stuff like that. I don't think it's a hopper game per se, but yeah, let's just, you know, go right into it. Oh, I get to create my own profile. Uh, focus on the story and adventure maze mysteries while helping you solve or skip the challenging puzzles more easily. And what does normal mode do? Ah, uh, ooh. Uh, that makes me kind of scared of normal mode, though. Uh, I'm kind of here for the story, so yeah, we'll go casual. May, May, look, we did it. We took off. I told you we could do it, Terry. I calculated it all just right. Wind speed, value of the balloon, our weight, the weight of our helmsman, Ren. Renny, maybe? You are your math. You turn everything into numbers, always adding and subtracting. There wouldn't be any math if you and Renny hadn't built the balloon. Well, of course. Look at how pretty everything looks from this height. It's pretty indeed, but far away from Balloonville. Wow, imagine if we discovered a new country or continent. Hmm, I don't know, Terry. I already miss Balloonville a little bit. You're quite far away from home. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? I'm not in the mood for adventure. Last year's adventure, when you disappeared, was enough for me. Don't be like that. I was just playing in the park. Well, you could have told somebody where you were going. You were worried sick. You were worried? Oh, Terry, stop it. If you say so. I just understand how you can do this, those puzzles and math problems all day long. I just can. Okay, big sister, don't get mad at me. It's just that I love adventures more than that science of yours. I mean, imagine if you could fly. Not a balloon, but like a real bird. Terry, don't talk nonsense. People are not engineered to fly. The laws of physics... Forget about science and imagine it. Wouldn't it be great to fly through the clouds? Well, I guess it would be, when I think about it. I'd love to fly high in the sky and then suddenly start accelerating downwards. Oh yeah! I'd be like... I'd like to be a huge bird because then all the little birds would be afraid of me. <laughs> oh Terry, you're so mean. <laughs> I'm just joking, big sister. But really, I'd like to know what it's like to be a bird. You know, Terry, birds rule the sky. But sometimes, even they have to obey it. Uh, don't you get tired of being so serious? Imagine flying straight into dark, stormy rain clouds. Um, like those over there? Um, May? What's up with that smoke? Excuse me? I think something's wrong with the engine. Well, um... Ugh, my head... What happened? I remember now. The balloon crashed. And Terry? Where's Terry? Oh, alright, we're in the game. We're in Dragonville, city outskirts. Bonus puzzles, quest book, inventory, puzzle solved, hint points, total score, options, and quit. Huh? What is this? Some kind of letter? 
My dear May, I tried to wake you up, but it didn't work, so I decided to look for help in the nearby town. I'll probably be back before you even read this, but I want to let you know, just in case. Love, Terry. Hmm, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I'm going to that town, and we'll probably meet halfway. Hi there! This short tutorial should help familiarize you with the features of the game. Each location contains arrows. Clicking an arrow makes you move in that direction to another location. The left part of the screen shows all kinds of different useful things. It holds lots of important items and information that you'll store during your adventure. You can see the number of puzzles solved, how many hint points you have, and your total score. In the upper part, you'll find the map screen as well as the name of the location you're currently in. The quest book section shows you the active and finished quests in the area of the game, where you are at the moment. The inventory section contains all the items you've found, with their brief description. Another very important thing is the bonus puzzles button. Bonus puzzles are some of the most useful things around. By solving the bonus puzzles, you get hint points. When you collect enough hint points, you can use them to get help for the puzzles you'll find on your way. Or you can use the hint points to skip a puzzle that's giving you too much trouble. The more puzzles you solve during the adventure, the more bonus puzzles you will unlock. The story puzzles tab contains puzzles you've encountered during your adventure. So the menu enables you to play them again, if you want to. At least, and last but not least, the game automatically saves your current progress, in case you get tired of all the puzzle solving. When you're ready to play again, you'll begin where you left off the last time you played. This concludes the tutorial. Good luck! Hmm, what's this? A rope from the crash balloon. I'll take it. It might come in handy. Got a new item. Alright. I see. So there we have an arrow, so we can move towards Dragonville. See, do we have any bonus puzzles? Uh. Okay. While well, playing bonus puzzles in casual mode, watch for the yellow timer slowly filling up in the middle of the puzzle screen. This will be very helpful if you run into a difficult puzzle or just want to skip it. When the yellow timer fills up, the solve button becomes available. By clicking the solve button, you can instantly solve a puzzle without any cost while still earning additional hint points. Okay. Oh, we do have hidden object puzzles. Write answer, color area, connect dots, arrange, check answers, matches, rhythmic, placement, sliding, hidden picture, pouring, crossing, draw a line. Ooh, this seems cool. Alright, let's go. Dragonville. A girl with a missing brother and a town with a horrible secret. <gasps> no! We are at Dragonville City Gates. We can try. The only way into the city is through this big gate. There's a strange inscription on it. It says, Welcome to Dragonville. Write the name of the citizen you're visiting on the tongue. Right answer. Oh. The right answer puzzle requires that you write the correct answer in order to solve the puzzle, whether it is a number, letter, or a word. Some puzzles have multiple answer fields, so you'll need to select a field by clicking on it before typing in an answer for that field. The entrance to the city is blocked by a strange looking gate. The inscription on the gate says, Welcome to Dragonville, write the name of the person you're visiting on the tongue. Well, Terry managed to get inside. If he solved the riddle, so can I. Um, we should go somewhere else first. Hmm, wrong answer. Maybe I should look around some more. Yeah, go this way. Mayor Doyle is fool. My dragon is, I love something. There's a lot of graffiti on this wall. One of them reads, Mayor Doyle is a fool. Hmm, I guess someone isn't very fond of this Doyle character. I think that is our way in. The only way into the city is through this big gate. There's a strange description on it. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Doyle. Oh yeah. It's like Professor Layton or something, <laughs> but like a, I guess a simpler version, but yeah. Got 30 points. That, this was a piece of cake. I can easily solve more difficult riddles. You bonus puzzle unlocked. Okay, I, I want to see what that is. New bonus puzzle unlocked? Where? Oh. Oh! Here we go. Ooh, hidden objects. Okay, let's see what that looks like. 
Oh, okay, puzzle number 167. Here's one for the sharp-eyed. Among the different objects on the screen, you'll need to find a few specific ones that are written on the list. If you can't find an object, you can use a hint to show you where to find one. Ooh, okay. Um, match, pencil, hourglass, plunger. There's a lot of stuff in the same colors here. Match, pencil, hourglass, plunger. There's that. A match? Like a single match? match. There we go. Plunger teeth boat. Plunger and teeth. Scissors and that thingy. Uh, scissors, clothes hanger, and pony. Clothes hanger and scissors. Right, clothes hanger, where are you? to use a hint soon. Yeah, okay, let's see what the hints look like. Oh, there we go. Well done, points earned 30, hints earned 5. Alright. Right answer, a box with marbles. All right, I wanna try some of the bonus. Puzzle 13135, a box with marbles. A box contains a number of marbles, nine blue, seven red, four green. If you take the marbles out of the box one at a time with your eyes closed, how many times would you have to take marbles out of the box before you had two of each color? Oh. Oh, so these log logic puzzles. to get them green ones. Oh my god, I don't even know how to start thinking about this. Um, okay, what does a hint look like here? If you take six marbles, there's a chance you will get two of each color, but it's not certain. True. Take into account the worst case scenario where you're forced to pull all blue and red marbles. That would be 16, 17, well, 18. Oh, to be sure, yes, of course. If you want to be completely sure, you'll have to take 18. Yay! All those hint points. Check answer family ties. Oh, this could be fun. 100, puzzle 140, Family Ties. The check answer type is a very simple one to play. In order to solve the puzzle, you simply need to select the field that has the correct answer by clicking it with the left mouse button. Some puzzles have multiple answers or require you to select multiple regions in order to solve it, so keep that in mind. Many guests attended a wedding and clearly many of them did not know each other. A gentleman discreetly approached a lady and asked if she knew the gorgeous girl near the pool. Certainly, the lady smiled. The girl's father had his own child from a relationship with my mother's only daughter. What's the relationship between the lady and the girl? Okay. That girl's father had his only child 
from a relationship with my mother's only daughter. So that girl's father had a child with this person's mother's only daughter, which means that it would be the relationship between the lady and the girl. I think she's the mother. Yes! Oh. Yeah. Puzzles. Uh, then we have like two slidey puzzles and three hidden... P Ooh, I want to do these. Oh yeah. Well, we don't have to like look at all the puzzles. Just like, I, some of the bonus puzzles I can do off camera, obviously. I just want to, you know, show different types of puzzles, I guess. Okay, match puzzles. Puzzle number 97. Cool 1000. Matches puzzle type usually consists of several matches that need to be rearranged by dragging and rotating them in the current position, forming a shape, number, or simply fulfilling the puzzle conditions. Some puzzles must be solved in a limited amount of moves. I do not like match puzzles. Number 1000 is written using 13 matches. That's all nice and sweet, but that's all about all there is to it. It's pretty boring and it doesn't seem very cool, does it? How can you turn the number 1000 to something cool by moving only two matches? Okay, actually I can do this. Can I rotate this? Uh, please let me rotate. There we go. Cool. Yeah, we spelled cool. More hints. Alright, what's the slider puzzles about? 226 May Steery. The sliding puzzle type requires you to slide different puzzle pieces and objects into the puzzle area. To solve a sliding puzzle, you'll usually need to rearrange the pieces to form a number sequence, graphic shape, and sometimes move pieces out of the sliding area. Oh, a mysterious character is hidden in the picture. Assemble the tiles by carefully sliding them into the correct positions. Place the tiles correctly to uncover the mysterious character. Oh man, these types of slider puzzles I'm not a fan of. As we probably all know by this time. Let's see if we can do it anyways. Sort of remarkably close, but... No, no, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we did it! No, 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 I didn't, I didn't. Oh, crap. No, it was wrong. Oh, nah. Oh, okay, that's what she looks like when she's sad. No! No, I was so close, though. Oh, man. I... I mean, I had it. I was just... I should have to watch me doing this again, but... It's supposed to be there. Okay, this is right now, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So what do I get? Like, five hit points? Or do I just get less points overall total score? Yeah, I got like 25 instead. Uh, yeah, okay. And what is the hidden picture? Oh, it's one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I like those. Let's see here. 
Hidden picture 100, number 175, hidden picture 1. In a picture, you'll use logic to draw a picture in a grid. The puzzles look like grids and squares inside and have numbers written at the top and to the left. Each number represents a group of filled squares in a row or column. There must be at least one blank square between groups. It's also possible to mark empty fields with X. By clicking on the icon in the lower left-hand corner, you choose whether you'll be filling up the squares or marking the empty fields. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, okay, so 10 means that we do all of these. There we go, boom. 1 and 8 means that we do this because we only have 10, so. <sighs> I didn't mean to click those. A specific amount of tries, okay. Mm. Something like that, at least for eight. There, oh, okay. So, three, so there's nothing here. That one's also done. That one is also done. Let's see, that one's done. That one is done. That one is done. And this one doesn't have anything. It's like a zero bump back there. Down there. So we have six. Must be here. Six must be there. That means eight must be like that. Oh! Never mind. Okay, I messed up, but yeah, we got a U boat there, so cool. Okay, I'm just gonna do the other bonus puzzles off camera. Alright, there we go, I did all the bonus. The bonus uh, puzzles we have so far, so let's go into Dragonville. Oh, well, we're inside now, so yeah, we'll have that as our first episode. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, bonus puzzles and stuff this time, but, uh, you know, we'll get more story as we go along. I'll do more of the bonus puzzles, like, off-camera in the future stuff, so, yeah. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you'll have a lot of fun with Mace Mysteries, The Secret of Dragonville. And I'll see you all later.